All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Whiffs on that offering. Got the single collar tie. Oh, vicious knees landing up top. No headgear allowed in the octagon. And at some point defensively, if you don't adjust, the referee's going to step in. The night is almost over. If you don't defend yourself, you will eventually go to sleep. So there it is. Taller fighter landing a knee to the body. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Nice straight punch. Three minutes remain in the round. <laughs> Unable to connect with the right. And lands the left there. Punch is blocked. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Good stick. Tags him with the left. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big kick lands. Oh, nice. Nice. Misses with the left hook. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Get him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he eats a knee. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Uppercut to the head. Instead, it's blocked by Choi. Beautiful strike. Just misses with a left hook there. Works out for the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, second round is getting okay, underway. Round, 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 round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice defense here. Single leg takedown attempt will not materialize. Just out of range with that right hand. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 
So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, Bon Mercier's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Oh, nice jab. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Obama Mercier. Pretty good right hand. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. That was nice play. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Single collar tie now. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That's a big strike right there. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was go, attacking guys, the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his right. corner. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Oh! Score. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, you saw us reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that shot. And there comes the separation now. Choi gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Try to establish that jab. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, Bon Mercier's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Ooh, big shot lands. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Let's try to take him down, there you go. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Under two minutes to go. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. He's throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submission, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Obama Mercier gets back up. I mean, he's cutting down the size with this beautiful leg kick. Big ball. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh! 
Oh, Von Mercier's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Three rounds at the can, we're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Nice punch lands over the top. How about that chin? Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Obama Mercier. All right, boy, Ty clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Unable to get the fight to the ground. Nice job by the opponent. Nice job by the opponent, defending the takedown, but now he is going to have to mix it up again. The first shot will not work. He's got to go one, two, three at a time to try to overwhelm him, to give him too much to process to try to get this fight to the ground. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Back and forth we go. Ooh, nice knee to the body, very nice. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot <laughs> takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Close guard. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. And he landed the right hand there. Nice jab, counter for him there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. That strike blocked by Choi. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Straight right, he misses. Oh! Oh, he might be out. What a fight so far. A lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent round, is going to need you some ready? Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to oh. he like that right now. He's a drunk. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, nice. Just misses there with the left. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side.
Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Defense there, huge block for him. Three minutes now to go, two to side this one. Oh, big punch land. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight. Oh. And now he lands a combination. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized.